this, for example, you can uh, yeah. you can do this replacing a different part and without you know there's an diameter. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So just to so kind of simulate what behavior you like to expect yeah. in a real world scenario. So yeah, uh, I think it's a very nice. Uh, yeah. Hi, um, so this is a quadruple tank that has been built for concise lab by Bitlistman. It's a multi-input, multi-output system and the great thing is that we have a lot of flexibilities in this system. We can change the diameters of the pipes, we can uh, we design the quadruple tank to, to make it uh, gravity flow and we use this quadruple tank to test our control to validate if our control is, is um, it's verified and it's working well for the multi-input, multi-output system. And this quadruple tank is a cross-coupling cross dynamics infrastructures where we have two pumps that pump water for, for example, for first pump, it pumps water to tank 2 and tank 3, but tank 1 discharges to tank 2, and then we have pump 2 that pump water for, to tank 1 and tank 4, but tank 3 also discharges to tank 4. And so you can see the complexities of this system, which is uh, which is good for to, for us to validate our control. And for and to, make, to, to get the measurement, we also have this data that Bitlisman has perfectly designed them. And you can see from here that they have already implemented a PID control so that we can uh, track the reference point for all the tanks and we can get the real measurement data from here with a very faster sampling time. So, so we can turn on the system now for you to see. So that so that it can track the reference point for tank four and tank two, so that it can reach to ten centimeters. Okay. Now it follows. It tries to follow the trajectories of the start point to reach ten centimeters. Thank you, Bitlisman! <laughs>